Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami from Cami's Craftiques. Um, I hope everyone is having a great day. I know I am. Today is my film day, so you are going to see me in my black t-shirt for quite some time uh, for a couple of videos. Uh, today's video is a local haul, thrift store haul. I have a couple of things from Goodwill and a couple of things from like a smaller local thrift store. So for those who don't know don't know me, my name is Cami. I am a part-time reseller on the uh, platforms of Poshmark, Macari, eBay, and Depop. So if you see anything in these videos that you are interested in, please just send, uh, send a, me a comment below and I will you know, get that item listed or I will let you know where it's listed and any reasonable offer you may offer me, I will accept be as long as you're a subscriber, you know, subscribers to my channel. I want to put it out there. I, I appreciate you. So give me a reasonable offer and I will accept. So in no particular order at all, I'm going to start this haul and I'm going to start it off. I'm going to actually keep it right here. Okay. So the first item that I got, these were from a Goodwill. And they're Born Sandals. It got the cork heel, the wedge. They are leather. They're a size 7. Okay. So they're a size 7. They're in pretty decent shape. There is some damage over here to them, but I really don't think that will be really a major problem. So that's them. Whoops, there we go. When I was a kid, I played softball. <laughs> you can tell I drop things all the time on camera and I always, I nine out of 10 times I will catch it. Okay, so there's the born you know, logo. So that's that. I thought those would be cute for the upcoming season. Okay, these are a pair of Crocs. They, I'm not sure if they're leather or not. Um, I really can't tell, but I figured, I thought these were different looking. They're not your regular, you know, Croc Crocs. So again, uh, brown and brown has been quite popular, I noticed, like this past winter. Uh, so I'm thinking of, it's a good neutral color to, to go through your summer. So these are a size, it looks like a size nine. The bottoms are in really good shape. Okay, so that. These shoes, my shoes in this haul, I paid $6.99. Okay. So those I'm getting ready for my summer stock. Okay. So the next was, I think I picked this up actually for myself. It's a, a Chico's regular size one. And it's just like a plain purple cardigan. I'm not sure if I'm going to list it or if I'm going to keep it. I got to try it on. Um, so yeah, it, it's just your basic cardigan. Okay. Oh, I picked up another pair of shoes. I didn't think I did. Okay, so these are Todd's. A pair of Todd's. Okay. And they are suede and leather. They have the T for Todd right there. And I picked these up. They have like, this reminds me of like a driving mock. What they put on like the driving mocks. So I'm not so sure why this is here. There must be a reason. Comment below and please educate me. So there's not much wear on these. Okay. And I feel like they were good work shoe or errand shoe. I feel like um, definitely you could wear for office or just casual everyday wear. Um, these are a size 
seven and a half. And I want to say that's about an inch heel. Okay. So that was, so that's the list. So the next, I remember these, yeah, because after I purchased them, I thought hmm, maybe I shouldn't have, but here they are. They are Betsy Johnson, size medium, and they're just, oops, just a plain scrub. Okay, they have the drawstring tie. Two back, you know, the back pockets, the front pockets, and a side pocket. Um, not sure how much I paid for these. Let me see if there's a... I think I paid, in this thrift store, I think I paid $3 for these. That's what I believe. And then these are the same, just in like a navy. But someone's going to want them. Either like some kind of like dental assistant, uh, nurse, vet tech, somebody. So that is that with the clothing. I'm going to wait. I feel some more stuff down here. Okay. So as you know... If you tuned in before, I'm getting my jewelry together. So whenever I find something, I, I you know, I pick it up for that. For, you know, for my, I'm going to do a jewelry shop in Etsy. So this I paid $3 for. I just thought this was really cute. It's a heavy, it's heavy too. It's a gold chain and then there's... The black beads and in between the beads, I don't know if you could see that, but there's like rhinestones. And it's one of those like rounded beads. The rhinestones are all on all on one side. Let me see if there's a maker on that. No, I don't see the maker. I just thought it was cute. Okay, so I got that. Okay, this, I, don't, I, you know, paid up a little bit on this piece, but I really, really liked it. Oops, there's two pieces in there. So this is a vintage piece, and I paid $7 for it, but I was, like, in love with it. I don't know if this is real silver. I don't think so have a magnet around. Okay, let's see. Yeah, no. It's not silver. It's just some kind of metal. But I really, really liked it. Like, you'll see there's like the black and I feel like there's so much detail. Then there's like the, the stripe. So I just thought this was a great Lucite link necklace. I originally, I think, was going to keep it for myself, but we'll see. We'll see if I decide to sell it. Okay. The next piece I picked up in that same store, and I paid $9 for it, but I thought it was really pretty. It is not marked silver. I believe it's just marked Mexico. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's just marked Mexico. Let me check. I got this cheap little thing at the dollar store. Oh, there. Just blind yourself, Cam. Yeah. I can't tell if it's silver or not. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is silver, but I bought it because I thought this was beautiful. This inlay. I thought that was so pretty. So it's kind of small. I have a pretty small wrist. But I thought that was really pretty. So yeah, I paid $9 for it. If if I can't get like at least double, I'll wind up keeping it and wearing it myself. What does that tag say? 
Vintage Alpaca Mexico is what it says. Okay, so that was that there. This was in another store. What I, This store, it was, you buy two items, you get the next item free. So I paid $2 for whatever's in this bag because I did this haul about two, maybe three weeks ago. And I've just been, you know, busy with work. So I really didn't get to see what I bought so much. Okay, so this, I just thought these were cute. So it has a barrel clasp. And I don't know if you can see that. But there's like little rhinestones. Let me pull that away a little bit. There's little rhinestones. So I have to clean this up a little bit. Because I see a little green over there. So I want to clean that up, but I thought this was cute. I figured I could get a couple of dollars for it, and I felt like, you know, two bucks. And the good thing is that, not that it's good, but if it doesn't sell, I'll wear it one day at least to work. <laughs> okay, so the other $2 item... are these earrings. They're clip-on earrings. And I believe I saw that they were marked. But I thought they were cute. They reminded me kind of of moons. They're a silver tone. And they're a clip. Clip-on. And yeah, they are marked something. Let's see. They are... I think it says... I really can't tell. It's what you get for getting a dollar store magnifying glass. Oh, they're tri Trafari. That's what they are. So, oh my gosh. So that's those. Two dollars. I think what I may do with some of the clip-ons, I think when I set my store up, I think I may do a whole lot of clip-on earrings. Because, I mean, the shipping, they weigh nothing. Okay. So that was that in that bag. Now let's go to my next bag. Whoa, sorry. It wasn't an earthquake, it was just me. Okay, so here is, I thought this was cute. This is by J. Jill. And it's a size extra large. And I got this at Goodwill. Okay. It has a really flowy s sleeve. It has the drawstring at the waist and it has the design at the bottom. I thought this was really cute now that summer is coming and it is lined so it's not see-through. And for this I believe I paid like $4.89 or $5.99. It was well worth it, though. So that's that. Okay. The next item is a Nike golf shirt, and it's the Tiger Woods collection from the Tiger Woods collection, and it's a size extra large, and it's, like, brand new. Okay. It's an extra large. And that's the sleeve. Now I watch other YouTube tubers. There's uh, this one girl. I love her. There's actually two that are like my favorite. But this girl, Becky Park. I think her name is Parks or something. Becky Parks. She always says how well the golf, like golf shirts sell. So I'm going to try it. And I figured Tiger Woods, well, maybe that'll be a bonus for me. Okay. And this I picked up. This is a little chi children's vest. And my other favorite YouTuber, Amanda Pruitt. She knows so much about a lot of things. But um, so does Becky. You know, all my favorites. I have quite a few favorites that I just learned from. But 
I remembered that Amanda had said the Bowden was a good a good name to pick up and this is mini Bowden and it's a little faux fur um, vest it's like in a like a brick red color but look how cute that lining is even I thought that was adorable and you could put your child's name in it and it has little pockets so I thought that was really cute and my goodwill for kids stuff I think is either two forty nine or two seventy nine, but I do believe it's two forty nine. And I did while I was while I was in Goodwill, I did see this same same vest. It's a hooded vest, and the recent comp sold comp. They sold it for forty dollars. Am I gonna get forty dollars? I don't know, but it's starting to get out of the season. We're in the beginning of March now. But I think this is really cute. I have a granddaughter, but that it, it's a size. Let me see. I think it was a 4T. She's a tiny little peanut. She's like 18 months. Yeah, it says 4 to 5 Y youth. So this isn't something that I would hold on to that long. So that'll be going up for sale. Okay. I found another shoe, but I don't see the other one. Well... I'm going to show you because there is another shoe to this. Um, it's just a canvas slip-on van. I have the other one somewhere, but being that it was on the top, I'm going to show you that. This I also paid $249. Children's shoes are a bit cheaper. Wait, this, yeah, $249. So I'm going to clean that up and list some children's stuff. Okay. This leather bag is just, a, not just, but it's a fossil bag. And it is in like really, really good shape. Like, looks like it was never used. It's so soft for leather. I paid $6 for it, but to me it was well worth it. I may actually keep it for myself. I'm not sure. But it has, because on the weekend, why I'm, I love these type of bags because when I'm thrifting, this is all I need. I just need something to keep my keys in, something to keep, you know, some money and my my old lady eyes, my glasses in. But this was in great shape in case someone is out there and wants it more than I do. So it got the flat pocket compartment. It has another compartment here and then a zipper compartment inside that compartment. I was like, when I saw this bag, I was like six bucks. You're coming home with me for sure. Okay, now this side zips all the way down. I don't know if you can see that. But this is pretty roomy black liner. A place for your eyeglass case, another zipper compartment, and all this the slots for your credit cards or anything. So this is great because you really don't have to carry a wallet if you don't want. You could keep your bills here. You could keep your debit card, your license there. There's room still to throw whatever else you need in there. So I, I like fell in love with this bag. But if there's someone out there who wants this bag more than me, just let me know. I paid six bucks for it. Any offer, just make sure you let me know in the comments below which um, platform and shoot me like a good, like a, a decent offer. You know what I mean? Something good for you, something good for me. Um, adjustable strap. So this, this was half price. This was half price in the store, in the store I went to. So I kind of took a gamble on this. This is definitely like a grandpa sweater. It is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, size medium, Oscar de la Renta. And I bought it because it reminded me of 
something like my dad would have worn or my grandfather. I don't know if you could see that, but it has a pattern. And I was like, if nobody wants this, I'm going to keep it just to hang out around the house. But it's in great, great shape. I think I only paid like two or three dollars for this. But actually it could have even been like a dollar fifty, but I think it was two or three dollars. But there's nothing wrong with it. So if anyone wants a grandpa sweater and likes this one, here it is. Okay. So this I actually could not believe I found this dress. This was for half price. Um, originally it was $10, but I got it at the half price mark. And it's a Betsy Johnson. Size 6. Betsy Johnson. And it's a black. It feels like a cotton. And it's embroidered. And it has like flowers. And it, it has like bugs. But it, it's this beautiful, beautiful purple. And does it have pockets? Let's see if it has pockets. It looks like it does. It does. It has pockets. The pockets are lined. So this dress got even better in my eyes because there's pockets. So it's a sleeveless back zip. Okay, zipper works. Everything works. When I was in the store, I was looking, no flaws. I really wish this dress fit, would fit me, but it, I'm too big for the dress. At one time, this dress would have been too big for me, but here's the bottom. Okay. This is just a cute, like, um, you could dress this up. Like if you're attending a wedding, you could use it even just going to lunch with the girls. Look how pretty that is. So I'm like in love with this dress. I so wish this dress would fit me, but not in this lifetime. And there's some pleats. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. I thought this dress was super cute. And this is my last item. <laughs> and actually, it's shorts for my husband. <laughs> They're um, Nautica. Nautica cargo shorts. <laughs> but um, here's the other van. So that wraps up my local thrift haul. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Again, if you see anything that you like, please comment below and I will make sure I get it up right away onto the platform of your choice. And after that, that's all I have to say. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.